Hi, this is Tosh from the Watson Developer Experience team. In this video, we're going to use Language Translator to translate a string from English to Spanish. The first thing we want to do is create a translate method that takes a string. We're going to use this method to call language translators get translation operation. You can see here from the signature, it takes a success callback with the translations object, a fail callback, a string for the text to be translated, and a model ID. You can also pass through custom data in a dictionary. So let's create those methods. Pass in the text here and the translation model here. Now we need to create the callbacks. If we go to the declaration of the get translation method, you'll see what the callback looks like. The success callback takes a translation response and has a dictionary with custom data in it. The fail callback has an error response and a dictionary with custom data. So let's create the success callback first. We know the response is going to be a translations object. And we're going to have a dictionary of custom data. Let's create the fail object. Now this took an error object and a dictionary of custom data. connector inside the fail we're simply going to log the error but you can handle this however you like In the success callback, we're going to populate the response text field with a translation. Now that we have all the callbacks set up, we simply need to call the translate method. We'll do that in the start method. Save that, go back into Unity, and that should be it. Let's hit play to test to see if it works. As you can see, it took that string, pass it to the translate method. That method calls language translator.getTranslation, and the text field is populated with the result. In the next video, we're going to connect the speech to text example that we looked at before with the language translator demo that we just created.